What's up everyone? We hit the beautiful Stellenbosch Golf Club. It's a sunny afternoon and I'm so excited for this video. For the first time in my life, I've got brand new golf clubs. Today's we're gonna do uh, what's in my bag. We'll run through everything from what I keep in my pockets to the clubs I play to the shafts I've got in those. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Firstly, I think we have to pay tribute to my old bag. This thing has done me the world of good over the past 10 years. I've had this thing forever. I think I got it in grade nine or somewhere. Got the old D913 driver in. This thing has hit a few bombs in its day. Going on to my irons, I've used these 9, 695CV Titleist. These are awesome irons. Um, I've had a lot of good rounds with these, but obviously the shafts are not really ideal for me. I've never had a fitting in my life before. Now with this new bag, um, and we're going to the wedges, I just used the old, I've got the old SM, SM6 um, wedges here, uh, but luckily I got some new ones now for the first time. Bag is pretty hammered, but this bag has done me the world of good for the past 10 years and golf clubs is not something that you need to buy every year or every other year it can last a long time but let's get into this one my brand new setup i haven't been this stoked in a really long time so we've got the the tightest tour stand bag so it looks like a tour bag but it comes with uh, legs and it's super light to carry out on the course let's jump into the wedges Got myself the brand new SM9 wedges. I've got these in a 60. I've got it in a 55 degree that I'm still waiting for. It's um, being imported. And I've got it in a 50 degree gap wedge as well. The bounce on these are a little bit higher than I previously had in my old models. So I'm still trying to figure it out a little bit. But uh, hopefully in a few rounds time I'll get, get the hang of these. Then onto the irons. The irons is probably the thing I'm the most excited about out of this whole um, new bag I've got here. I've got the Mizuno Pro 221s. Drop it down in the comments if you agree with me that these are the most beautiful irons on the market um, at the moment. I, I sure as think so. They are full out blades. My iron play, my ball striking with my irons is one of my strongest points in the game. So I have no problem playing blades. And I, my dad gave me a pair of old Ben Hogan blades when I just started back in primary school and I learned with those. So I love these blades and they last me for the next 10 years and then I'll probably upgrade to uh, game improvement, old man's irons. Um, but for now, these are battery soft. I did a blind fitting on these. so. I did, they didn't show me anything or, or which brand I'm playing. I just picked up a bunch of clubs. I did a two-day full out fitting. I hit everything that there is on the market. And these actually came out second. The ones that felt the best was the Miras, but they are crazy pricey. So I went for the second best option, which is these, these beauties. And what I've saw from these fittings is all of the irons are pretty much standard these days. They they get the same results, most of these, or the ones that I was looking for. At the end of the day, it came down to how it looks um, while addressing the ball and the feel on the clubs that I really like on these. Um, the other thing that I really like about them is that they have very traditional lofts. A lot of the irons these days, not sure if it's for marketing or for what the reason is, they, they loft them super strong. And I don't want to hit my 7-iron 190. There's, it makes uh, or creates a lot of problems at the lower end of my gapping um, when I get to the wedges. So these are very traditionally loft. They're easy to bend if I need to get them a degree stronger or weaker, but I'll first play about six to eight rounds with them before I do any major changes. Jumping into the shafts, yeah, these I'm super stoked for. I've got the, the brand new Project X Alice, the low spin shafts in here. I've got them in 130 gram. So they're quite heavy. They've got, they come in this brushed steel, beautiful finish. They're stiff, they're rigid, and they feel incredibly good. I'll hit a few shots with these later. Then, for the first time ever, I've got a hybrid and a three wood in the bag. If you jump back here to my old set, you see I played driver, 
and two iron. The shaft is terrible for my swing. But in any case, they worked for that worked for me very well. I just never had a three wood and a hybrid. Never got to picking one up on Facebook Marketplace. Um, but for now, for the first time with this fitting, I could see the massive effect that this has. So I dropped my three iron, even though my long irons have no problem hitting those and getting those in the air. But it's undeniable the the stats that I saw on the TrackMan. This hybrid is spectacular, especially out of the rough coming in on long par fives or using it as a driving iron on short par fours. It's it's great. I love it. And Titus also has these more traditional looking clubs, so they so they look very nicely behind the ball. For the three wood, I got went with a TSR three. From Titleist 3 wood, I've got an Acra shaft in here. These shafts are ridiculous. Got an 80 in a 80 gram shaft, and um, yeah, I, I hit this thing nice. It's I hit quite down on the ball, um, a little bit of a steep swing. I'm, I'm working on that. I need to fix that, but these help in, in keeping the spin down. I've actually got this one in a, a four wood. It's a four a five wood that we made the loft a little bit stronger, so it comes plays like a traditional forward then onto the disco stick the big one went to the TSR 3 you see I hit that thing a few times already and uh, this thing is a machine just switching from that old D913 with the very light shaft way too spinny to this one I got 30 yards or 30 meters extra carry right away on the track man I'll just slowly see how it performs out on the course but it's it's much more stiff. I've got these this Acra um, TZ6 75 gram shaft in here. Comes in a beautiful steel finish, and uh, so far I'm loving I'm loving this club. As I said, I still need to work on a few things with my driver, um, just to make sure I eliminate that soft fade, that spinny shots that come out every now and then. Quick interruption. Uh, just a word from our sponsors. So thank you to Burnt for sponsoring this video and we'll be giving away one full kitted burn set either men's or women's to anyone that comments down below what you think about the new setup do you rate it what do you think i should have gotten differently and also go watch the next video of myself and hendrik playing nine holes with the new clubs in a scramble and let us know what your favorite shot was or which shot you think the best shot was during those nine holes and we'll select one comment to win a full out burnt golf kit. Cheers. Okay, grips. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but the grips are went a bit thicker. They my old set I just had traditional standard grips. These are medium, medium to large. I put a one, I think one and a half wraps or two wraps or something on here. So they're a little bit thicker. Um, nothing crazy, but I'll just uh, help keep my wrist a bit steady, more steady in uh, when I try and rip those those long ones. Before I go any further, I think it's uh, it'll be good just to give a shout out to these legends at Legendary Golf. They kitted me out with a whole set of custom head covers. They make these in a, in a factory in Cape Town in Woodstock, very close to our offices actually. You can give them any designs you like. I'll pop these onto my woods just now. I've already got it on here on the putter, got our burnt branding on here with the orange tag on the sides. I think it looks pretty sick. For the putter, sticking with my old Scotty, this thing I absolutely love. I have no desire in switching this thing up. We jump to the actual content of the bag. We've got a little pockets on the side here to keep your valuables, wallet, phone. In the big compartment, this is where I keep rain jackets, I keep a burnt Kyoto warm jacket for when it's really cold out and also our Tokyo ultralight jacket for when there's little, just a little bit of wind and just need a bit of heat then we've got a magnetic compartment over here and this way I keep the rangefinder got some gloves in here at the moment balls in the back I need a lot of these they fly out of bounds way too often and then on the far side here my miscellaneous pocket. I've got a little club cleaner, plasters when I haven't played in months and my I get blisters and a bit of fizz and baby bum cream for those hot humid days to avoid the rash. Standard procedure. Well, I think I've went through most of it. 
I'm super excited for this new fit out. I, it's the first time in my life, as I said, that I have brand new clubs and it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but I'm so excited and I'm going to play and make a point of it to play as much as possible to figure these out. From hitting, uh, earlier today I've seen that my um, length on my wedges feel a little bit long. I did make all of my shafts a half an inch longer, but for my lob wedge specifically I like to grip down on it quite a bit and I just use it around the green so I might get that shortened immediately because uh, it feels a little bit strange in my hand. But other than that, I think we need to get a few rounds in these clubs and uh, straight after this, myself and Anendrik will be playing a two-man scramble out here at Stellenbosch uh, nine holes and see if we can break, break par or get close to it. So click onto the next video to watch that. If you like this type of content, please feel free to give us a like on this video. It really helps the channel and follow along for more like this. Cheers, guys. In all my years with my old clubs, this has never happened to me. So